Welcome back, everyone. In this video, I'm going to cover coding out a UDP client and a UDP server. With regards to a UDP client and a UDP server, we're going to have to understand what the most important things about UDP are. First, it's an abbreviation for User Datagram Protocol. And it makes use of, uh, of course, it's related to the Internet Protocol of the TCP IP Protocol. But the one thing to, important to remember about UDP is that it does not guarantee the delivery of packets between a client and a server. So therefore, when the for example, server is sending out packets, it's not going to establish a handshake or a connection with that client or vice versa. It's just sending out packets. It doesn't know if it's going to be delivered. It doesn't know what order they're going to be received. And the important thing where you can really utilize these UDPs are in like streaming services when thing when it's a time critical application. So Let's just code out an example, client, server, configuration, here in Python, and you're going to be able to see how something works, and, and let's just jump right into it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to code out the client. So I'm using nano here. I'm going to be in Python 2, but you can also do it in Python 3. So first things first, import socket. Our target host, or yeah, target host, we'll just call it target host, is going to be 127. So it's our local address. Uh, this we're going to call uh, 2222, of course, you can use any four, mostly four digit uh, port number, don't use like 80 or 22 or those that are reserved. And what we need to do is we're going to initiate it, instantiate it, our socket, and this is going to tell uh, once we get it all up and running it's an IPv4 so this parameter is indicating that it's an IPv4 addressing scheme and this parameter is saying that we are UDP in my previous video we did a TCP client where we pinged Google uh, with a HTTP header and we got a reply back but and that parameter was of course different since it was in the TCP so what we what are we going to send to our hello from client is our message and we are sending it to target Ho uh, target host address and target port address and now of course we want to make sure that we receive something back so we're going to be saying we're going to say alright we're going to be waiting for something back and we are doing it this way and we're going to of course need to know what actually it is what the server message is, which we'll be coding up next time, or are here in just a few moments. And we're going to print it out to the screen. All right, so we imported the socket module. We've declared our address, port number. We've instantiated a socket object we are sending to the server something 
and we're going to be receiving something back and we're formatting it so that we can see what the message actually is and then we're going to print it out to prove that we actually did receive something so let's go ahead and save this right now and i'm actually going to start up another uh kali linux we could do it in running the server in the background but just for uh, purposes of ease and so forth we're going to just have a second one up so now let's do the server same concept and uh, it's just going to open up in nano it can be any text editor that's easy but we're doing it easy you know with nano and so forth so got to do the same thing now we're going to call this host address and a host address is of course the same thing that uh, we declared in our um, client and we got to make sure that the port address is the same as well which is 2222 uh, message from server actually let's say message to client because I think we we'll use that same just to be clear we got to do the instantiation and this of course is going to be the same idea as what we talked about previously that uh, it's IPv4 and it's a UDP protocol when we instantiate the socket. Now, this is the part that's different. We're going to have to bind. So once this starts up, we're binding the address and the port to this server socket so it makes sure to continue to listening and that's something because we're gonna have to make sure to uh, when this starts running it knows that hey I'm at this address and I'm listening on this port so if something comes to me gets sent to me a UDP packet well I need to potentially do something with it and that's what basically this bind does now I want to print out that hey the server is running uh, so once it starts we know that it's actually up and running now we got to get a while loop here going and we'll see that uh, what what's going on here once we actually get it started up but that server is running is going to allow us to see that hey um, we've got it up and running we're just waiting for the client to send us something so now we are going to be wanting to get a received message now uh, this we can do a couple different ways but this received message is basically going to be waiting for uh, the message from the client and we could um, do it a couple different ways I'll show you here in a second what the first way we're doing it because this is going to be the easy way to break it out um, in an array type of format alright um, and I just want to make sure so the way that we could have done this is instead of received message and breaking it out into two different variables as well or total of three is have this delete this out and call it message comma address equals this instead of the array format but I think it's easier to understand that we're how we're doing it is that there's two different things being sent into that received message and so uh, that's just easier for me to when I originally take a look at it and maybe for you as well but just know that this could be message this right here could be message comma address so uh, client message 
is going to be client message. We'll do a space there. Dot format message. And of course, client IP equals client IP address colon dot format. And this one is the address right up there that we just did that received message. All right, now we're going to print both of those. And finally, we are going to send something back so that we know we got something. And actually, it's message to client, comma, address. So we need to know where to send it to. All right, so we have our server, and then we have our client that we previously did. So here's the makeup of the server. It's going to be basically waiting until we receive something from the client. Once it client, uh, we're going to break it out into the message and then the actual address. And then we are going to be printing out that information and send something back to them. We're gonna say hello client, back to them, back to the address. So let's now get this going. So since we are doing it in Python, all right, we got our server is running. Let's jump back. Uh, we got to do Python UDP client. Let's see what our error was. Oh, received, oh, yes. We have a little received message. We had a nice little error right there. So we got a incorrect. That's all right. That is a okay. So let's run our UTP client, let's stop him. All right, and with that, we actually got our message from server, hello client. We should go be able to go back and take a look at the other terminal. And we have our server is running. Server is running, and then we got the client for message, hello from client client IP address and then as we remember we turn around and it goes back and sends message from server hello client so as we see we actually went in built a simple server simple server and a simple UDP client so thank you in our next video we are going to be building a TCP uh, server uh, to go with the client that we created in our first video. Thanks and look forward to seeing you then.